whoa, whoa, what did I run into? Do I need to kill some people? This ain't how it looks. Right. You just killed a couple of sheriffs. Have a gun in your hand. We don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So what's your plan anyway? Plan. I'm looting. Serves him right. I am looting. And also that hat looks nice. Let me swap that hat out. Woo! This looks nice. This looks really nice. Honestly, I'm minding my own business, but at the end of the day, I mean, they're dead. They're not going to need or use these things anymore anyhow, so might as well just pick it up. Am I right or am I right? This is Glover of Ladies here. Like my video, share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And also hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Don't forget, I do have my coloring book Taco Dreams available now on Amazon. Pick up a copy today. And... Let me get out of here before somehow I get blamed for killing all those guys. You, stay right there and don't move. What the hell? That's crazy. What the hell? Okay, first of all, you really are pissing me off. Secondly, time for me to shoot. Right here. Next. Next. Come on. Next, who else? Who else? <laughs> Crazy. They're trying to rob me. For what? Hold on. Let me see. Let me go and get my tobacco so I can increase my dead eye. Come here. Come on. All right, I have one person left. Where you at? Come on, where you at? You want to shoot, right? That's it. That's all the guys, right? I'm going to loot some more. You see, with Red Dead, you have to be careful where you're traveling. Exactly, especially if you're traveling solo, because I could have gotten killed. But frankly, with my cowboy skills, I shot them way into hell. Thank goodness I had enough tobacco to refill my dead eye skill too, because I know for a fact I would have died. Let me go ahead and, yep, let me eat my biscuits so my health will be good. Awesome. I'm just trying to get to Valentine so I can get a nice little shape up with my beard. And at least get a nice little trim on my haircut. I'm not trying to die. Good grief, I can't even travel without being shot. Wow, a dead horse. Yeah, I can help. What happened? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, come on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Come on. Where are you going exactly? Cause I'm on my way to Valentine. I don't know if you're going the you same know way. Emerald Ranch. Mind taking me there? Okay, I got you. Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Now it's dead. It was just a foal. Oh no. Oh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be Damn, the shade. Oh, 
is complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. I'm sorry Biscuit, to hear that. He was a fine animal, loyal, smart, brave, and dead. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Okay, this he horse is a boss. Too, he was hollering away. That is so he funny. He could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Nothing. You're never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They were Another one? Just like the last lady. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. He sounds useless. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. What do you mean? How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. Yeah. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found really? There, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oh, we're getting close now. So the dollar never leaves, but she's always looking through the window. I gotta check this place out, seriously. Here All right. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Anytime. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. Oh, look at you. Thank you. You didn't have to. Yo, I got a ring? It. Yeah, anytime. What a lousy day. Okay, first off, let me check my map. And also, what's this? Hosea. Hmm. We are on Emerald Ranch. And I'm already here as it is, so... First of all, let me explore this place for a little bit. That's a really nice house. I love the greenery on the roof. But seriously, though. Where is this, um, this place with the daughter because I want to see a she's by the window right so maybe that's that big place no I'm not asking where Hosea is I know he where he is wait is this a spot hold on so she's by the window right yeah, I, I want to check it out. I want to see. Hold on, where's my binoculars? Do I not have my binoculars on me? There you go. Let me see. Is this it? Zoom. I don't see uh, any daughters by the window. Maybe the top? No. I don't see anything. I mean, this place is relatively small, too. So I really don't see anything else. I'll probably be able to see her, like, towards the night or something. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Hosea. See what he needs. He's somewhere over here, so... Uh, no doubt. I do interest in very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Arthur, this is Seamus 
He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not. Clearly. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. I'm over here smoking okay. in the background with not Tell a care what. in the world. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. Bob wow! Also, we'll see if you boys got what it takes. Wow, he wants that. us to steal from his own it? family There's member. A farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just like the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You yeah, he doesn't really care, I can tell. Cousin. By marriage. I'm ready. Let's go. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. I'm just trying to find the girl by the window. Because she sounds like an urban legend at this point. Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. Like what John did yeah, the last time. Can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage. We should hang up our hats now. I was just trying to go to the barber to go and do a nice shave. So what's the story with that emerald ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. You're not the only one. There's a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus Not only that. The rancher's daughter a couple of times. Yes, so exactly. All the time, but now she never leaves the house. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Okay. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. That's what I'm let's saying. I want to find out about the daughter. Like, what's good? What's good with the d daughter? All right, here's what I'm going to do. You ready? I'm going to use that. Yep. Damn, really? Can I not have the hat and the thing? No, I can't. Okay, whatever. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see what else I can take. Thank you. Um. Really? Uh, the house. The there you the go. The Hold on. Where's my hat? Okay, I guess I'll do that hat. You know I have to change my outfit because that other shirt was looking all types of greasy and sweaty. And I know I was stinking. Damn, man. I wish I had time to shave, man. I didn't even get to shave. <laughs> All right, what am I looking at? The home, right? Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, 
Distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Day and night, night, night. I'm doing the night. Let's wait. We have all the time in the world anyways. What's there to rush? Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. And from what the guy said, no killing. So I'm going to quietly... Of course, I got you. I'm sneaking up on Carmen Dell. I don't know how I feel about this. Let me take a look at the window, though. I see some, some light shining through. But it's empty. What? It's empty. That doesn't make any sense. An empty house? For what? Let me let me look through this one right here. So the fireplace is on, the fire is burning, but there's no trace of anyone here. Why is that? Oh, he's sleeping. Let's go. I'm gonna rob everything. Come on, is there nothing here? Oh, the watch. I'll take that. Alright, let me close the drawers because I don't want him to think that there was some sort of evidence that someone was here. You feel me? Shh, shut up. Alright, let me just... Can I close the door here? You know what? Screw it. I'm not worried about no door. What about the chest? Yes, I'll take that. Thank you. I'll take the clip too. Ooh, this is sweet. Look at how much money I got so far. Okay, so let me go through this door here. Clearly the man's asleep, so we don't have to worry about him being awake what else is there for me to take I'll take that bourbon thank you gonna need that oh this is so good okay another chest you know I'm pretty happy I decided to do this at night it's less of a risk honestly Okay, I got $51, right? But I'm gonna take that carrot because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna take that apple too because I'm gonna need that. And what else? You know what? I'm feeling pretty adventurous, so... I'm gonna go upstairs, see what's in here. Ooh, okay, so another sleeping person. No, I ain't. I'm not waking him up, so... I just want to search the chest. Can I search? Or nah? Yep, got it. Okay, I'll take that coin purse and the money clip. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I'm almost done here. This is so sweet. Us robbing him blind while he's asleep. What's in here? Ooh, a bracelet? A gold bracelet, too. Take that. Let me see. I'll take that. I'll take the watch. Wow, I'm pretty ballsy for doing this. I admit. This is funny. Alright, let me see what's beyond, behind. Well, I want to see what's over there. 
Anything for me to take? Nope. Alright, I'm leaving. I have no business being here anyways, so... And I got $84 worth of stuff, so I'm pretty impressed with myself. And they are such deep sleepers, too. I am amazed that they're able to sleep through all that. Alright, that's yeah, it. I'm good. good. Man, this is a good mission. I love this. Let's go. All right. This is the easiest, slickest mission I've ever had the pleasure of being in. Not only did we rob $84 worth of stuff, we got the, the stagecoach on top of that. And can we talk about the music, by the way? I am loving this music right here. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And more. I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Best way. Less problems the better right now. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And once... Yeah, like the last time. No doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. So how long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Wow, the fact that this was a very easy mission. I love when things go exactly Hello, as it's planned. Fine, nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to take my time and everything, making sure I'm not making any noises. Nice work, Jose. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, no, nah, I'm good. I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Besides, I'm at the ranch now. And it's dark. So, my thing is... Oh, why is it so fogged up? Let me see. What? Wait a minute, hold on. Let me get my binoculars. Let me see if I'm able to see. Hold on. Binoculars. Thank you. I don't see anyone. I don't see any daughter. I don't see anything. Hold on. Is it that window? Yes, I'm hunting down the kid. I want to see if she's actually legit or if it's just some urban legend that they like to talk about. You know where Lily Millet is? I don't know. Wow, okay. He's like, nah. Come on, man, tell Lily me. Millet. She's a ranch maid here. You know where she is? Look at him. Hold on. Looks like no one wants to answer my questions. I mean, that window's right there. That's the only window that's lit up. Huh. Okay, 
First of all, let me see if I can find someone else to talk to. There has to be another person here. It just has to be. Right? I see the cows. No one's up there. I see no one else here, but then again, it is nighttime, so... Of course, no one's gonna be out and about, you know? I just want to see the daughter. That's what I want. Anyways. Oh, wait, there's some people here. Maybe I can ask them. The ranch maid, Miss Millet. You know where I can find her? Uh, no, no, sir. What? Seriously? Okay, what about these people? I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? Hey, partner. Not sure, but I, I think I saw her with Cooper earlier. Okay, thank you. Any idea of the whole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why does it always gotta be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. Oh. I thought you said you loved Bickering as usual. Do, but what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's gotta be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. So that's Lily. Okay. Sweet. Now we know. Now we know what's really going on. All right. Wait, hold on. Let me put this away for a second. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn money. Oh, yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Let's go! Come on. Come on. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is gonna be good. Come on. I'm in the mood to fight. J9 style. That's right. I took some lessons from my girl. Come on, big boy! Come on! Come on! What's wrong? Alright, alright. Thank you. All my money. I, I gave it all to him. Just take everything that you found on him and let's be done with it. Please. Wow, look at that. And he dirtied my hat. He dirtied my hat. How horrible. Hey, you know what I do to thieves? Leave me alone. Don't you? I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. What do you want? Great. Okay, first of all, who's gonna snitch? Cause I'm about to shoot. I guess I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Hold on. Yep. Come here. Come here. Since you don't want to learn how to mind your business, right? Come on. Actually, nah. I'm going to beat him up. Come here. You ain't Come here. There you go. There you go. You stop right now or you dead. Hey, now, let's all take a minute here. What you saw, you forget about it. Or I'll find you. Oh, that's cute. Gave you enough warning. Look at him trying to pull a gun on me. Thank you. I'll take that. Yep, I shot him right in the nose. That's what he got. That's what he gets. That is what he gets. Anyways, le let me go ahead and leave this place because as far as I'm concerned, it's bad enough that everyone thinks I'm a robber. And I actually do want to go to Valentine because I need to get my nice little beard and face shaped up. So I'm heading there right now.
thank you for watching. this is lover of ladies and i'll see you guys next week.